Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. And I wanted to show y'all some of my orchids in their current state that they are in. So a lot of these orchids, I need to still come in and do some dusting and address that what kind of like a uh, buildup that's on their leaves. But I wanted to show y'all that I usually do what I call my Sunday soak. So it's now Wednesday and these orchids soaked in water Sunday overnight until Monday. So you can see, we see a lot of green roots here, happy, healthy roots for the most part. And I think it's been a while since I've even given y'all an orchid update. So I wanted to just show y'all what they were looking like and tell you a little bit about where some of these came from. This is one of the orchids that I got from Amazon in that order that came with a bunch of the broken pots. This is one of the few ones that had a pot that was not broken and it's bloom is spent. The um, stalk is also dried out, but it grew up this brand new leaf for me. That leaf has grown in my care. This orchid right here is one of the ones that I got from Trader Joe's. So you can see it's a little sadder. So there were some plants that I think I mentioned did kind of suffer and go through some neglect whenever I was processing everything with the pregnancy losses that I experienced this year. And it has not fully recovered, but with this one, I probably need to do another soak, but I try to give it a few days, let the roots dry back out like it is now. And I may need to start using um, a little nutrient supplement like one of my uh, water soluble orchid mixes to kind of help it bounce back but it's not completely dried out this last leaf is a little bit firmer usually what i do is i soak them and wait until i see the leaves start to plump back up but i may need to do like i've seen some of my orchid pals say in our foul pal group on facebook that they take the orchid they put some moist moss or sphagnum moss around the roots and then they tie it up in what they call the bag method to let it really absorb the moisture and nutrients that it needs to absorb to get these leaves to bounce back and be more firm so we'll give updates on this but this is one of the trader joe plants this other plant here is another trader joe plant so i have some of these just in pots that i put them in after they soak and then i put them back in their original ceramic pots just to give them a little chance to air out because the smalls can hold a lot a lot of water but what you'll notice on this one if i can bring it into focus right there uh let's see if i can get a pointer i'll put my thumb near it right here by my thumb is a new bloom spike this orchid i got in february i got it for myself for valentine's day i'll try to drop in some stitched in pictures of that from trader joe's so i got both of these from trader joe's before valentine's day and it's not um suffering like this one possibly because the moss really stayed around these roots and it was happy in it so i didn't bother it this one wasn't responding well to the moss and the moss kind of got a bad like a uh, pungent smell a little sour smell so i took it out but i'll give you updates on those I also got, like I said, I ordered some orchids like this one from Amazon, like Amazon Prime, Amazon.com. But this one is one that came from my Whole Foods delivery, also ordered through Amazon. And I don't know how I really stumbled upon the fact that Amazon would allow you to order orchids from Whole Foods, like with your food delivery. I think one time I was doing a lot of grocery delivery um, orders during the pandemic. And I looked in my cart and it was asking me or giving suggestions of other things and asking me if I wanted to add anything else to my cart and it suggested these orchids I did look up this brand online I'll try to link their um, website below because the orchids were in such great condition I wanted to know where they were coming from I think they were coming from California I was also very impressed that I ordered multiple orchids from Whole Foods delivery so I, I'll be uh, transparent about that not sponsored not endorsed just keeping it real with y'all and what i thought was also interesting is that sometimes they would come with an actual id tag so this is a phalaenopsis charming sunshine and then its id number so it bloomed a really pretty yellow color i'll try to stitch in like a picture of that so you can see what it looked like but i had this and again it's not in this cover part because it was in here soaking and these two right here also came from whole foods delivery so this i think blooms like a kind of like 
pale yellow flower it's almost blush like um like with a little tint of uh, pink to it but yeah these leaves need to be dusted it came in a double pot so there are two individual pots they used to be more covered with this on like a decorative moss but i took that off so that i could see what was going on with the roots like right here where a new root is growing i want to be able to see that and you'll notice here both of these have another new leaf coming up and i can confidently say that like one of these leaves has grown like while i had it so this one originally had two bloom spikes they've been cut back got some good root action going on here and again i think i already showed you that i soaked these and I soaked them on sunday so you can see some of the roots there are still that bright green that we like to see so that's another one from whole foods and then we have this big bertha that came from whole foods and it also like was a i think a waterfall orchid so it had this support stick with it i've since cut that back here because it is no longer green or growing it's um what's the word it's not expired but it's dormant now so i cut this completely off because it's not going to come back it came with this split leaf so i again wasn't necessarily 100% pleased with that so I let Amazon know I think they either gave me a credit or a refund I can't recall but told me I could keep the plant and it also came with a ID tag so this was the P. Sogo Uticon could be completely butchering that but again just to know that it had an ID tag I think this was either grown or germinated in December of 2019 I think I got this maybe before Mother's Day so sometime in May and it was in bloom for me for a while again you can see this younger leaf here I know that that was grown out in my care and then some of the older leaves that need some dusting now I have I don't know if it's plant shine or what, but it's not anything that's like waxy or and it would put a coating on the leaves, but that just allows you to clean the leaves off. But this new leaf is much shinier and a little bit lighter because it is a younger leaf. But this one came from Whole Foods Delivery with an ID to egg. Now this Phalaenopsis right here it has a younger leaf it's doing pretty well and i think i told y'all about this one it came from i always thought it came from i think trader joe's but it's one of the ones that i received from one of my plant pals here who said she was just kind of done with orchids that they were too finicky and needed too much attention and it is still blooming so i'm not sure how long she had this for but yeah i picked it up and i've just been adding it to the sunday soaking program and its roots are still uh, green there so you can tell it recently took on some water and it is doing pretty good so that's that phalaenopsis orchid i have no well this like chartreuse or kind of lime green colored flower is what's going to continue blooming from this one i have another one that i got from walmart i'll show you i have no idea what it's going to look like all right, so this is a Walmart flower. This has grown out in my care. I think I showed y'all when I got this one because it was like originally like $20 or something. I don't want to say ridiculous, but higher than I usually want to pay for orchid if I'm getting it marked down. But I went back and got it because it was at Walmart. It had really good roots if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, really nice roots to have been kind of neglected i know when i got it it looked like it was waterlogged and had been sitting in the water for a while but i took it let it dry out i really gave it some time to just get acclimated to this growing space and all these plants are in the master bathroom suite in my home so they're here getting a lot of bright window um sunlight from the adjacent window and i'll show y'all a picture of that but it has yet to put up another bloom spike but it's been good to just see that it came in here recovered from the i guess um I don't want to say negligent care because there's just a lot of times folks that are working at Walmart aren't really trained and really caring for much plants, much less orchids that can be just like if you order them even twice a week, sometimes that can be too much. But um, I wanted to see how it would come back because there weren't many orchids in the store to begin with in our New Orleans East store on Bullard. But it's been really happy so far and this new leaf has still been growing. I don't know if it's at its terminal point yet. But I don't see another one coming up in the center, so it may still have some time to grow. 
this was maybe yeah like I said ten dollars at Walmart I'll try to find where I got the original picture this one I wanted to put up in my daughter's room because her room's colors are like pink purple and gray and it was in a pink pot not that I couldn't just slip this off and put another one in but either way we coordinate it's gonna end up in her room now that it's acclimated and not infested with anything Ugh, I think I just split that leaf ribbon on it sorry and yeah I gotta get these water spots off of it I don't think I showed this one already if I did apologies uh, this is another orchid that I believe is one that came from either Whole Foods or Lowe's because it has no tag on it I don't remember this pot is from Lowe's but like I said I just slipped different ones into these pots to let them cool cool off to let them dry off and drain off before they go back into a cover pot I do believe I have some more of my official orchid cover pots that have the um, ventilated holes on the side in our garage so I'm trying to revamp our storage and um, unbox some things that didn't get unboxed after the move to get out more of my gardening stuff but it's pretty I'm also challenging myself to just stay dedicated to caring for these orchids doing my once a week Sunday soak not making it too much of a bother if I forget on Sunday it becomes a Monday soak if I have to do it on Saturday it becomes a Saturday soak either the way they're gonna get soaked at least once a week and sometimes it goes two weeks if I don't remember or if I'm just too tired to do it I'll keep it real these are two more of the orchids from Amazon those just add ice orchids that came in the bulk order like I said I put these in water not water I put them in water to let them soak and then I set them in these cover pots so these are actually the cover pots that are originally for the orchids that I got from Trader Joe's and I'll try to find a copy of the original pictures when they were still in bloom I am intrigued by this bloom spike here because if you look at the tips of each of these here see if I can bring it into focus here yeah that's better yeah right there thank you Lord here and here there's still what they call like that little mitten head where if you look at a growing point if it has that little mitten look to it let's see from the side like right here Technically, this could still grow and give me some more bloom. So I'm interested to see because this whole thing, it looks like it's still viable and green and has some life in it. If these points are going to start to grow for me again. Now, a challenging thing of growing orchids in Louisiana is that we don't really get a true like cold winter, which oftentimes they say will help to spike growth. And even on this side right here, there's another mitten. So is it going to grow? Is it not? So I try to just keep an eye on these, keep these roots happy. I do hate when they're in this like cocoa core planting medium because orchid roots tend to not really like that. Sometimes it can hold too much water, but and this looks like I have a little bit of moss or algae trying to grow here. But again, trying to keep it simple, trying not to stress myself out. If nothing else, one YouTuber that I did want to shout out is Foul Pal Durrell. I promise y'all, like in the beginning, before I came across Black Orchid Project, Foul Pal Durrell was one that I had come up, I guess, in the beginning of the pandemic. I mean, it must have been when it was. Um, with growing orchids that really had me go out and get an orchid period now black orchid project made me be inspired to really recover some clearance orchids like made me feel like I knew what I knew what I was doing but foul powder in general just made me be like you know I've never really tried orchids I should give them a chance because I was really intimidated by orchids in my master gardening class because I am a Louisiana master gardener there were some more senior members of the class who were orchid like they were orchid whisperers they really like had this had that going they were helping to grow the collection at City Park here in New Orleans and they just had a touch for orchids and I looked at that and I was like mm, I might have a touch for some pothos I might have a touch for like a good lily and amaryllis like I can grow them I don't know about an orchid. <laughs> Complicated order. <laughs> so I just didn't try it. And watching Foul Pal Durrell made me be like, I'm going to find the orchid that works for me. I think that was one of the greatest lessons I learned. Like you may be intrigued by different orchids. Don't be intimidated by them. Try them. Maybe start out with some of the easier to care for orchids like a Phalaenopsis orchid. But you can get into the Cymbidiums and the Oncidiums and the other kinds if you devote your yourself to really getting to know them and how to grow them you can do it so thank you foul pal Durrell for 
that encouragement. It has really carried me a long way. I got one more orchid I'm going to show y'all. It's a special orchid to me and you'll see why. This is the last orchid that I wanted to show y'all and I'm trying to make sure you get to see the whole thing. This orchid is one of two. The other side is not blooming yet. You know what? I think, pause. All right, so I lied. This orchid, when I said I couldn't remember where I got it from, whether or not it was like a Trader Joe's or Lowe's or whatever, this one came with this one. So these were actually in a set of two. They were in one of the double pots like I showed y'all a minute ago, and they came from Whole Foods. So there's that. Pause for the cause. Okay, so I wanted to show you this orchid, and I wanted to explain the significance of this orchid. It is now... October, I think today is the 27th. Yeah, it's Wednesday, October the 27th. This orchid has been in bloom since I got it in April of 2021. This orchid, I call Earl. My husband calls Darkman X and was named and purchased after the death of DMX. Um, a little bit more about me is that I am one of those people who has a very eclectic and diverse musical liking. I could be listening to Phil Collins one day. I could be listening to DMX. I could be listening to Tamala Mann. I could be listening to Cardi B. All in the series of maybe 30, 45 minutes. That's how I roll. That's me. That's who I am. And as you get to know me more and I share even more about my musical taste and selections during the day, I will start having my... Musical Mondays, where I share some of the things that I've been listening to during my commute with you because, again, all of that helps you get to know me a little bit more. If you're really rocking with me on this channel, you're going to click with it and you're going to get where I'm coming from. But we, my husband and I, decided, um, I think it was actually his suggestion even, that we would get another orchid and name it in some variation. Like I said, we have our nicknames for them. I think even at one point, because there were two flowers in the pot, one was Earl and one was Dark Man X. So I don't know which one is actually still blooming, but either the way, there's two little bloom spikes here. And it's kind of more of a orangish color in person. It looks more yellow with this light, but it definitely is more of a like rust orange in the center and then a light orange out on the outer petals. I love that it literally is still blooming and like the bloom spike is just continuing to grow. I think I had one bloom on this one that blasted after the last watering. I might have left it sitting for too long. But why was this significant to me? Because whenever I was dealing with my most recent pregnancy loss, I literally was praying all the time and asking God to give me a sign. And there is a DMX song called Lord, Give Me a Sign. And I don't necessarily choose to listen to that all the time. I think I listened to it back in April after he passed. And one of the days that I was coming from a doctor's appointment, that song came on. So for me, little things like that have meanings because it was in a moment when I was really feeling discouraged. We were getting more and more bad news from the doctor about what was going on with the baby. And when the song came on, oddly enough, it made me smile because it really brought me some semblance of peace. One, two, for me as a person that talks a lot about faith and we'll be talking more about faith on this channel, DMX always prayed like nobody's business. And some people would say, why would you want somebody like that to pray for you? I pray like I'm going through whatever situation somebody asked me to pray for them about. Like you will never ask me to pray for you and I will not put myself in that position as if it's my loved one, my situation, my family member that's dealing with X, Y, and Z. That's how I pray for other people because prayer is that serious to me. And if you did not know DMX, regardless of whatever inner turmoils or vices that he was dealing with, was somebody who could pray. Like the first time I ever heard one of his praying tracks on his albums, I was like, ooh, and I probably was a teenager, but still, I know praying when I hear praying, and that man could pray. And also, I'm a social worker, so I, one of my first jobs was actually working with folks in substance abuse recovery programs and in treatment programs. So there's lots of different interconnections there for me, so... Yeah, I think I saw something even on Facebook that said, you know, why do people of my generation find such a connection to DMX? And it's because he was so true about himself and the things he was dealing with and what he was going through. And we all rooted for him. We all wanted him to win. We all wanted him to 
overcome everything he was dealing with and regardless of what we may think of anything that may happen and I don't even know half the story behind it because I haven't followed the headlines like the legacy that he left behind and the music that he made and the lyricist that he was um is still something that I will remember and I don't know just a, a spot in my mind in my history so again a little bit more about me maybe more than you wanted to know but hey you're here if you're still watching and I still do just love and not take lightly that it's still blooming and it's been blooming since April. So it has loved this spot in the window. I believe I have a earlier picture from when I first got this and both of the orchids were in bloom that were in the double pot. It's in a single pot right now because like I said, I soaked it, let it sit. So I'm going to wrap this up. But I started to wrap this up and then I realized I left out part of the story. So the other reason that we got these orchids is that my husband and I loved this show fresh off the boat. And one of our favorite episodes was the episode when DMX was on the show. So the main character in this show, his name is Eddie. This is him um, facing DMX right now, so you can't see his face. He was a fanatic of like all things hip hop and uh, especially DMX. My husband and I again love this show. So when they show this episode with DMX, a rapper that we both loved, um, Growing Orc is something that my husband knows I was excited about. Um, it was just all in. So a lot of people go back and forth and say, oh, DMX didn't really grow orchids. Woo, woo, woo. That's not the part that's important to me. The part that gets me is this quote. And I love this quote because I think it's so true for most of us when we're trying to grow orchids. Like we'll look at these orchids and we'll think they're so exotic and exquisite and we just want to keep them growing. And we think they need all the complicated stuff and grow lights. But really, truly, all they need is time and attention. So many orchids don't like to be bothered every single day. So they really just need you to look at them, check in on them, see how they're doing and admire and appreciate them so again having our orchids um dark man x and earl sometimes i just look at them and call them the dmx collective it's another memory for me because it takes me back to again just the little things times my husband and i were together watching tv laughing just enjoying life but that quote is so powerful we think orchids need all of this stuff they just need time and attention y'all but as always this is fix it with fram where i talk about all things faith family food and fun I want to leave you with the encouragement that i truly believe god has given us all gifts and talents that can fix some problem that exists in the world and while we may not be able to fix everything i want to encourage you to remember that we can all fix something so till next time i pray that you would find that thing and fix it thanks for watching y'all bye uh -huh.